Good afternoon. How's everybody doing? Good, good. Um, well, I appreciate everybody being here. I'd like to, you know, thank our fans, our season ticket depositors, um, as well as our, some of our corporate partners are here, uh, as well as the media. I appreciate everybody being able to come out and, uh, for this big announcement. Um, for those of you that don't know, my name is uh, Andrew Forrest. I'm the general manager of business operations for El Paso USL. Um, I want to talk a little bit about some of the some of the updates that are that are going on with uh, with us here. Um, just to dig in a little bit on that. I'm sure there's a, been a lot of questions as we know. So, um, one of the questions that we're getting a lot is uh, is a stadium question. So, for for the the time being, as of right now, just to reiterate, we are playing here at Southwest University uh, Ballpark uh, for the first season uh, at a minimum. Um, so that is uh, not the big announcement today. Um, other things that we are working on currently that I know people are very interested in learning more about, um, we are working on finding a head coach. We are, have begun that process and are pretty far along with that. Um, we are finalizing our season ticket pricing and benefits. I know that a lot of people here um, have, have put down deposits and are anxiously awaiting that uh, information. Again, we are working hard on that, and that is uh, almost uh, where it needs to be. Um, other things that we're, we're working on that people have a lot of interest in knowing about a team name. Um, again, we're still still uh, in that process as well as a logo and the team colors. Um, we've got a, a lot of great suggestions from, from the community. Uh, again, a lot of people I look around in this room have, have, have chatted with and, and gotten uh, opinions on. So we were taking into account that we know that you like uh, the two-tone blue colors. We uh, are definitely keeping that in mind as we uh, um, you know, continue to, to round out uh, our developments on that. Um, a couple other things that I want to remind everybody uh, about. Uh, don't forget to put down your uh, season ticket deposits. They're only $50 per seat. Uh, you can call 235-GOAL. There are uh, some of our sales reps are here um, in the building right now. Um, and also, you know, you can check us out on El Paso, uh, USL .com. Um Certainly there's a, a ton of information there. And, again, we'd love to, to interact and answer any questions that you have. Um, don't forget to follow us on social media, uh, Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram, uh, as well as the, the website for all the late breaking news, um, updates, things of that sort. Um, and finally, I just hope that uh, everyone has seen this announcement as well, that we are going to have a uh, World Cup watch party for Spain and Portugal at the Big Dog House here in the ballpark, uh, 12 o'clock on Friday. Gates are gates. Doors will open uh, around 1130. Um, so we hope to see you there. Should be a, a lot of fun um, to, to major um, uh, world-class powerhouses in that game, one of the more fun games in, uh, in group play. Um, so you're probably asking yourself now, what are we here to announce if we're not announcing some of the things that I previously mentioned? Um, we will get to that here shortly, but a man that needs no introduction uh, in El Paso is, uh, is our president, Alan Ledford. The, the timing is, I knew that was going to happen, the, the timing uh, is fortuitous for us, and you all get one guess as to why we're here today. Uh, <laughs> uh, but with the World Cup starting tomorrow, right, Andrew, tomorrow, and the announcement yesterday about, what is it, 2026 in the U.S. and Mexico and Canada hosting uh, that version of the World Cup, a lot of great things happening around soccer internationally. Um, certainly nationally in this country as the USL represents and of course here in El Paso and, and we're th thrilled about the inaugural 2019 season of El Paso USL and by the way we are all looking forward to having a real team name as much as everybody else is. Uh, that process as Andrew indicates is, is uh, ongoing and, and we're working hard behind the scenes and have a lot of great input from people. But today, uh, we have a, a very special announcement, and, and I'm thrilled to be here as part of that and making this announcement as well on behalf of our Mountain Star ownership, Woody Hunt, Paul Foster, Alejandro de la Vega Foster, and Josh Hunt, who unfortunately have, as you can imagine, other commitments and I think in all cases are out of, uh, out of town. But on behalf of uh, our ownership group, Myself, Andrew, our entire Mountain Star organization, uh, this is a, a terrific announcement and, and one that uh, really came together very quickly and fortuitously. One of the things that we talked about when we announced back on, I think, uh, 
Eduardo's dad reminded me of the date earlier today. And by the way, Eduardo's parents, excuse me, uh, Omar's parents, Eduardo and Ana Sue are, are here somewhere. There's, there they are. So we welcome you both here today. We had a great conversation before coming in. Uh, one of the, the things that we mentioned during that announcement, it was one of the, the major points, was that we wanted this to be El Paso's team. And not just the team on the field, but all, in all respects. And it's part of the fun of building a soccer organization is the, the fan input and the experience at the matches. And then, of course, the players. Well, today's announcement is an important step in that regard. However, but I, I do want to emphasize that we didn't sign Omar simply because he's from El Paso. That was sort of the icing on the proverbial cake. We signed Omar because he's a great soccer player. He's a world-class soccer player. At 15, he went off and played in the Chivas organization in Mexico. He's played for two national teams, of course, the U.S. and Mexico. He was the number one draft pick in the 2011 MLS Super Draft. Now, that's not the first round. That's the first pick in that draft. And I think Andrew mentioned to me there's only been 22 of those ever in this country. He's played in MLS. He's played in Liga MX. And in addition, along the way, he's trained with two English Premier League teams. A, a truly remarkable background. And we couldn't be more thrilled to introduce El Paso USL's first player from St. Joseph School and Cathedral High School and El Paso's own Omar Salgado. We can, we'll have time to do more of this afterwards, but now we'd like Thank to you. turn the microphone over to uh, Omar. Thank you. Thanks, Alan. Um, I'd like to thank everyone that's, that's here. I mean, this is uh, especially exciting for me being back home, um, playing in front of my, my family, my friends. Um, you know, in, in front of everyone that I grew up with is, is going to be incredible for me. It's going to be uh, something that, that I've always dreamed of. You know, as a kid, I think every soccer player always dreams of. Uh, Growing up and playing in their hometown, and uh, you know, I'm really happy that uh, Mountain Sports Group was able to uh, bring a, a franchise in into into this city and uh, you know make this possible. I'm sure that that I won't be the first or I won't be the last player to uh, to come from El Paso and, and, and play for this club. I mean, this city has uh, has great soccer players, um, you know, great clubs, and and this this is going to be really uh, a big step forward for for the city and and uh, really for this league. This, uh, this stadium, this, this organization is, is first class, and I'm really excited to be here, and uh, I'm, I'm just happy, happy to, to be able to be a part of, of this, especially at the beginning. Um, you know, I, I can't wait to play in, in 2019. I can't wait for you know, these seven months to pass by, and, and uh, you know, I hope to see all of you out there. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, in case you were wondering, we did not go in order of height. That's just the way it, uh, it worked out. So um, just a little bit of follow-up, just so you know, uh, again, uh, Omar has also been, uh, been currently will be loaned to the Las Vegas Lights um, to play there for the remainder of the season to stay fit and, uh, and be ready to come back home uh, for, for 2019 preseason. Um, if there are, again, I want to thank everybody for coming, uh, everybody that's here in the room, everybody that's watching uh, on Facebook Live or on, on Twitter. We appreciate uh, your support, whether you're, you're in the room or watching at home. So, again, thank you, thank you. Um, and we now will take this time to do some uh, one-on-ones with uh, myself available as well as Alan and, of course, uh, of course, Omar. So thank you very much. Here with Alan Ledford as El Paso has its first official player, and it is a native of El Paso and Omar Salgado. Alan, first of all, thanks very much for being here with us, um, and, and really a big moment for you and this team. Uh, we don't have a team name yet with, you know, you're working on the stadium, all of the other stuff, season ticket packages, every, every, everything else, but what a selling point to have a guy who was first overall, El Paso's only, to my knowledge, first ever first-round draft pick. 
First no pick. Doubt. Exactly. No doubt. I mean, to have the opportunity to sign somebody who's who's a world-class player. He's played in Mexico at the highest level. He's played in the U.S. at the highest level, MLS and Liga MX, respectively. He's he's trained with English Premier League teams. He's played on both the U.S. and Mexican national teams, and he's only 24 years old. And to top it all off, he's from El Paso, and he's a great guy. Um, we, we, uh, we, we obviously were very excited when the opportunity presented itself. I know that um, the on-field stuff for this team continues to be a work in progress, looking for a coach, looking for, uh, I guess, uh, uh, somebody who organizes, at least at a general manager level, uh, the players and everything else. But everybody's kind of pitching in from Mountain Star right now to try and get this thing handled. How did this come together, and what was it that said, hey, we need to get Omar Salgado? Well, we, it's, it was one of those situations where we really didn't need uh, somebody who has a level of soccer expertise that we ultimately, of course, will have and, and will need. That's not my thing. That's not Andrew Forrest's focus. Uh, Andrew has far more experience in that regard than I do. But when, when the opportunity presented itself, when there was contact between Omar's and, and his folks and our, <coughs> excuse me, Go right and our organization, that it, it became very clear that it was something we wanted to move on quickly. You didn't you didn't need a, a ton of soccer technical expertise to make that decision. I would imagine, yeah, this was kind of an easy choice when, when all of this came together. Uh, and, and talk about the USL level. Obviously, he was first overall selection by the Vancouver Whitecaps a few years ago. Um, and MLS has its own level. Obviously, Liga MX is in, in playing with uh, Tigres and some of the bigger, bigger clubs over there or in their organization. Uh, they've got that kind of squared away as, as to what those kinds of players make. Talk about the USL level and, and, and just how it's kind of been brought up over the years uh, to the point where when you guys do this, it's, it's not going to be, you know, something in a parking lot somewhere. No, it, 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 it's, it's key to remember. This is the hi- highest level, I think, by far, of professional soccer that El Paso will have, uh, has ever experienced. And the, the, the USL as a league has never been at this level. And it's continuing to grow in terms of not just its popularity, but the quality of the players and, and ultimately the, the play of, of each of its 33 teams. Uh, we expect this to to continue over the course of time and I you know the way I look at it if you were to use the the baseball context it's the triple a to major league baseball to major league soccer actually it as as triple a baseball is to major leagues uh, to major league baseball so it's it's the next best players in this country it's a very high level of play a lot of international players each of these teams can have up to seven international players which is is going to be a lot of fun i think for we think for our fans to see players from all over the world world-class players coming to to play here in el paso you got guys like didier drogba playing for phoenix i mean that's he's a guy who's won a champions league trophy not that long ago with chelsea i mean uh those players are part of the of the it's second division soccer and i think a lot of people don't al- uh, also don't recognize that through the u.s open cup there is a way for you to play for maybe the truest national championship in all of professional sports um you know, not that that teams from this level generally win it, although I think it happened once a few years back with Rochester, uh, but that you have an opportunity to take on Major League Soccer teams and plug yourself into an international soccer, you know, in CONCACAF Champions League that no other sport has. It's a pretty cool thing, and the, it's, it's the difference between soccer and many other sports is that international that world view that it has and and you know we there are 17 home games so each one of them is an event um, and you combine those two aspects and and the the traditions that go with soccer that that we're looking forward to building here with with our team uh, and it becomes a, a special occasion outstanding alan we appreciate you taking time pleasure alan ledford president of mountain star sports with us and with you i'm going to bring in joe come i appreciate it very much alan let me get your water back as we continue, and uh, to have somebody like Omar Salgado, Joe, Joe Rodriguez, now joining us here on Facebook Live, and uh, having an El Pasoan with kind of the bona fides he does, uh, first of all, is something unique, but to get him back to El Paso as this El Paso USL uh, experiment opens up in 2019, that's also very, very big. 
Yeah, no, absolutely. Hi to everybody that's watching. Thanks for having me on, Duke. Um, moments ago, I was just talking uh, with his parent, with his parents, uh, Lalo and, and his mom, and I, they asked me what I thought about it the way you're asking me now, and I, I, what I said was it's the logical, uh, it, this seems like the logical decision and the logical path to take, and Omar's mom was like, that's exactly the right word to describe it. She told me she agreed with me, and, and I think it is. Uh, he's available. He's looking forward to to being you know i think he's at a stage in his career where he's ready to take on a more active and lead role at whatever club he's playing and uh and you know for him to you know to to sign on with el paso and for them to be smart enough to put him out to loan to a future division rival in las vegas under the 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 you know the leadership and and the head coaching of uh jose sola over there in 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 las vegas uh they're waiting for him and i think uh, i just got done asking him right now uh what he wants and he wants maximum playing time so that he can come in good form march 2019 i know that sounds like a long time away but it'll be here way f sooner than later absolutely no i mean the time to plan is now and uh you talked about leadership um obviously there has been no El Paso and who's been ever a first pick in a draft of any kind of professional sport other than Omar Salgado. Um, things in Vancouver didn't work out, but, but obviously uh, he has experience playing in Mexico with the Tigres organization. The amount of time that he spent over there under Tuca Ferretti uh, speaks a lot, whether, you know, regardless of the amount of actual playing time that he had, the fact that he was there for several years that speaks volume to the possible talent that they that they saw blossoming within and now it's time for that talent that they thought in mexico was on the verge of being developed it, it it's time for him to to develop it and to for him to blossom and to show it off here in front of his hometown nonetheless that would be great joe appreciate your time thank you very much duke we'll be in touch and, uh, absolutely excited for this new time here absolutely joe rodriguez with us and with you I am officially introducing myself to Andrew Forrest, nice Duke Keith, pleasure nice to, meet to meet you. It's the first time we've ever uh, spoken, but yes. uh, come on in just a little, a little bit. Heard a lot about you. Oh, mercy. Okay, well, mostly there we go. Good. Mostly good things. Mostly good, mostly good, as long as it's mostly good. Andrew, first of all, congratulations, because what a first step for you guys, and really the first time we've seen you in public. I know you've been making the rounds of the radio shows, but... Uh, quite an occasion to uh, kind of announce your presence and the presence of this team. Yeah, it's cer certainly not so, not so much about me at all, and I'd prefer to stay in the background. But this, again, was, uh, I've said, is a dream, is a dream signing, something that I'm not sure that we were expecting to do this early. Um, but when they had this opportunity and it came available, uh, it was too much to pass up, and I, you know, I certainly credit to ownership and to Alan for, uh, for you know, listening and really believing that this is a, a mega, a mega signing for us. Again, uh, again, um, Albuquerque did something very similar with uh, Devin Sandoval, uh, you know, a hometown product. And again, kudos to them. I think it's whenever you have this opportunity, it's unbelievable because it doesn't always come around. And certainly, uh, cities like El Paso and Albuquerque, um, you know. There's not the talent that's coming out like there is New York City or L.A. Of course, we know that. So to have this opportunity is incredible. It is incredible. And uh, and, and just talk about uh, because I know that you're more the off field stuff. You're, you're that kind of general manager. You're going to be in charge of the, the sales and, and uh, the general atmosphere of the game, all of those kinds of things. And Alan was talking about it. He said, you know, certainly in terms of the on field stuff, you've done a little more of it. But this, I guess, is it, it just seems like an opportunity that kind of landed in your lap. It did. It, it absolutely did. And again, this is this is probably not where my focus is going to be on. I, I'm not. I'm not qualified to evaluate evaluate talent at this level. I, I can assure you of that. Um, but when we had this opportunity, and, and you know, when I was with uh, San Antonio Scorpions, we had T. Grace in a couple times, and and knowing that his pedigree from MLS, the number one draft pick, and playing with T. Grace, you know that this guy is quality, 100% quality. And I'd be able to get someone that's that's an unbelievable soccer player first and foremost. But then also to be from from the, the town that you're playing in, city you're playing in, is it's just you, you can't write it any better. Talk about uh, as as you guys kind of gear things up. Um, obviously, the team name is yet to come. You're selling season tickets. You're you're doing all of the other stuff, the off the field stuff, uh, to get ready for 2019. What can we look forward to seeing? What you know, people who've come to the the Southwest University Park to watch a Chihuahuas game. This is going to be different than that. Talk about the difference that you want to kind of cultivate. What do you want to see in El Paso? Absolutely. absolutely. And, the, and the Chihuahuas have done a great job of cultivating a, an atmosphere that's incredible, you know, across across minor league baseball. They're certainly one of the best in a, in a standard on, on many levels. Um, and we want to create our own identity in here. We, we don't... Um, 
we want to, you know, we'll have field boards, we'll have the supporters groups, which are going to be a huge part of this with the atmosphere that they bring, the chants, the, the drums. I know that we have a group that doesn't drum, but, uh, you know, but all are welcome. So, you know, I think with them uh, leading the charge and then this being a more event-based atmosphere with 17, uh, 18 matches per season, uh, as opposed to the, the, the season that the Chihuahuas have with, with many, many more games than that. You know, I think it's going to be more of an event in, uh, uh, in that regard. So we're going to address this, you know, with the field boards and, and some of the different new signage options that don't exist out there currently um, we're going to to dress it up and, and give it a soccer feel uh, while we're in here because this is a you know this is a great facility and, and you know the grounds crew and the ops crew do a great job of keeping it keeping the grass perfect for baseball and it will be wonderful for soccer as well we've seen some international soccer matches at southwest university park and uh, and and it does a great job i mean uh, is there anything different are you going to bring in uh, like portable stands to, to go along the far side I mean, what, what are you looking to do that's, that's certainly a possibility. I think things we've looked at are maybe uh, using the dugouts as uh, you know field suites potentially and kind of treating some different premium areas, maybe cabanas uh, in the outfield, certainly looking at things because there's a little bit more space uh, that will be available to us uh, simply because we don't use the entire the entire ballpark playing uh, surface, I suppose. Um, so there, there are going to be some unique and different ways to enjoy a soccer game as opposed to a baseball game um, that I think fans will enjoy. We're looking forward to seeing it and uh, seeing what you guys do. Andrew, thank you very much for your time. No, thank you. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Absolutely. Likewise. And thanks for turning in, uh, tuning in today. Uh, again, Omar Salgado, native El Pasoan, first overall pick in the Major League Soccer draft a few years ago by the Vancouver Whitecaps. There is no other El Pasoan who has ever done that. He is now going to be a part of El Paso's new USL team. And we certainly appreciate uh, Joe, Alan, and uh, Andrew uh, for joining us today. Lots more in store. Check it all out. 600 ESPN El Paso.com and right here on my Facebook feed.